Exchange Server 2010 is one of the most complex server products that Microsoft makes. Many IT professionals find that an Exchange Server certification goes a long way toward proving to employers that they have mastered Exchange Server 2010 and can support it in a real-world environment. The 70662 exam leads directly to the Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist Certification. This exam also counts as credit towards Microsoft's MCITP Enterprise Messaging Administrator 2010 certification. The MCTS 70662 exam covers a wide variety of topics covering a full scope of the Exchange Server 2010. These topics include the installation and configuration of Exchange servers, Exchange recipients, client access, message transport, compliance and security, monitoring and reporting, and high availability and recovery. The exam consists of between 45 and 60 questions. The questions are primarily multiple choice, but you may encounter an occasional drag and drop, build a tree, or reorder question. The passing score is 700 out of 1,000, or 70%. Microsoft does not publicly state the amount of time given. Most sites state that the exam is two hours, but some claim that the exam is only one hour. In order to take the exam, you must first register with Prometric, have personal identification such as a social security number and a credit card ready when registering. Prometric can aid in finding the closest testing center to you. They can also help you by phone if necessary. Many examinees find the following aspects of the exam to be challenging. First, you must have extensive knowledge of EMS commands. Some questions only require you to know the name of the commandlet that is needed in a given situation, while other questions require you to know the exact command syntax. In any case, you cannot pass this exam without a good working knowledge of EMS commands. You should have a good understanding of the limitations that come into play when Exchange 2007 or Exchange 2003 are present in an Exchange 2010 organization. You will also need to know that if you create a brand new Exchange 2010 organization, you cannot add a legacy Exchange server to that organization. Finally, make sure that you have a handle on federated sharing, role-based access control, and managed folders. These are areas that many candidates seem to have trouble with. In order to prepare for the exam, we recommend that you review the exam objectives found at Microsoft Learning. Focus your study on those aspects of Exchange Server configuration and management that you are not normally exposed to on the job. For example, if you primarily interact with Exchange Server through the Exchange Management Console, then you should spend a considerable amount of time learning how to manage Exchange from the command line. The exam tends to be very command line intensive. For primary study, we recommend the Microsoft Certifications 70662 Exchange Server 2010 Mega Guide from PrepLogic. We also recommend the Exchange Server 2010 training course from TrainSignal. Additionally, we recommend the Exchange Server 2010 Portable Command Guide. Finally, check out the Transcender practice exams. PearsonITCertification.com is your trusted source for certification preparation materials, including books, ebooks, videos, flashcards, simulations, and more. Connect to us via Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and subscribe to our on certification channel in iTunes. Good luck! <laughs>